Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to create this cool interlocking shield logo using Inkscape. And this tutorial is brought to you by my new Inkscape course. I'll include a link to that in the description. Let's get into it. I'll go to File, New from Template, and I'll come over here to the Screen tab and go with the Desktop 1080p option. The first thing we need to do is bring in a guide. So I'm just gonna come over to the rulers here and drag and drop a guide onto my composition. And I'm just going to double click on this guide and make sure I type in the exact values for the center of my composition. So let's go 960, hit the tab key twice, and we'll go 540 for Y, and I'll click OK. So now we have a nice center guide. Next what I'll do is hit the B key to grab my Bezier Curves tool or the Pen tool and make sure snapping is turned on. And what I'm going to do is just come up here and click to create my first node. And I'm gonna hold the control key and that's gonna snap this to 15 degree increments. You can see the exact angle down here. So I want this to be 180 minus 15 degrees, which will be 165 degrees. And I'm just going to click right about here. And now I'm going to create my second node, well, third node technically, and I'm just going to make sure that I drag it inwards a little bit. So about there looks good. And once again, I'm gonna hold the control key and make sure that this says 30 degrees. So we're gonna snap it to 30 degrees and just click once it snaps to that guide right here. And then I'll come up and make sure that I finish this shape off. So I'm just gonna connect the left half of the shape. And right now there's no color assigned to this, so I'll just shift click on the color red. But what I'll do next is go to Path, Path Effects, and I'm just gonna add a little cornering to this node right here. So I'll come over to Add Live Path Effect and type Corners, and I'm just gonna click to select Corners. And now let me hit the N key to grab my Nodes tool. And so you're gonna see these little dots right here. I'm just going to click and drag the dot on this corner just to give it a nice little rounded corner there and release. That looks pretty good, so I'm just going to apply this by coming over to the Path Effects dialog, click the drop down, and click Flatten. I'll leave the first shield there. Let's hit the B key to grab the Pen tool once again, and we're going to draw the second shield here, and this one's gonna be a little bit shorter but wider. So let me come over to the Guide and just click to add a node there to the Guide, and once again, I'm gonna hold the Control key and make sure that that snaps to 165 degrees and we'll go out just a little bit further and then click to create our node. And then this next line we're gonna have go inwards once again, just a little bit, click, and then hold the control key. Make sure this snaps to 30 degrees. And you can see there that my line is overlapping right there. So I went a little too far down. Let's just hit control Z to back up and just go up a little more. And then once again, draw this so that it is snapping to 30 degrees and then click once it meets with the guide, and then we'll just click to finish that shape off. But now once again, I'll come over to Path Effects and we'll type Corners. And we'll hit the N key to grab the Nodes tool and just add a little bit of rounding here to this corner. And you can adjust this to your liking. Once you like where it is, just come over here to the arrow and click Flatten. All right, so we have our shield shapes, but we only have half of them. So let's create the other half. I'll hit the S key to grab the selector tool. While still on this shield, let's come over to Path Effects. And I'm gonna to start to type Mirror and go with Mirror Symmetry. That's just gonna duplicate that to the other side. And I'll come over here and click Fuse Paths. That's just gonna merge this into one single shape. You can't really see it right now because there is a, a line going here down the middle. And I'll come over here if I'm happy with it and just go with Flatten. And then come over here to this shield shape and do the same thing. So let's type in mirror, click on mirror symmetry. We're gonna go with fuse paths. And I like the way that looks, so I'll come over here and I'll just click flatten. So flatten basically applies the path effect to the shape, which makes it no longer non-destructive, so I can't go back and edit this. However, I won't have a path effect tied to half of a shape anymore. This is now just one solid shape, which is what I need it to be for the next step. So for the next step, I'm just going to add a fill color to this shape that we have selected now. So let's just go with like a dark color. And I'll hit Control D to duplicate the shape. And now what I'll do is hit Control and the 9 key or Command in the 9 key on a Mac. 
and that is gonna be the left parenthesis key. And that's going to perform what's called inset, which is going to shrink this down, but shrink it down in a way where it still fits inside the original shape. And if I need to go back up, I can hit control and the zero key or the right parenthesis, parenthesis key. You can also go to path, inset or path outset, and that's gonna perform the same thing. So once I have this nice and aligned, I'm gonna come over here and shift click on that white color. And what I was aligning to was the original stroke here. So I don't want there to be any gap or overlap right here. And I'll do the same for this shield shape. So I'll click on it. Let's just add a background so we can differentiate the white stroke from the white background here. Control D or Command D on a Mac, and then Control 9. And we're just gonna hit that until we see a little bit of daylight there between these strokes, and then Control Zero to go back up. And then I'm going to Shift click on the color white, and we can just left click to get rid of that black fill. And I don't know if we got rid of the black fill on this one. No, we did not. So just click on this shape here, left click to get rid of that black fill, and now we're good to go. Now what we need to do is we need to flatten all these shapes. Right now they are standard shapes with fills and strokes. We want them each to be their own separate thing. So what I'll do is just click on each individual shape and hit Shift F. And what that's going to do is separate the stroke from the fill. So let's click on this stroke here, Shift F. We're gonna click on this main shape here, Shift F. And click on this shape here, just the stroke and Shift F. So Shift F is the Boolean operation if I go to Path, Flatten. So it's the Flatten Boolean operation. All right, so now we've got all these shapes. They're all individual shapes. If I come over to the Layers panel, you can see they are all paths. And we've got six paths because we've got four strokes and two fills. But what I'll do is I'll just click to select all of these shapes. And I'm going to hit the X key on the keyboard, which is going to enter the amazing Shape Builder tool. And what we need to do is create a nice little overlapping effect. And I want this to tuck under these strokes here, come around, go over this, come around, tuck under this. And the outer stroke is the main color stroke. The inner stroke is the white stroke. So we're gonna keep that in mind. We're gonna perform the same thing on both strokes. So let's start right here. So I want this to overlap right here. And you're gonna see a little line here and we're just going to double over that one more time. I'm just clicking and dragging my mouse with the Shape Builder tool to combine those shapes. And then once we reach this little part, we're gonna jump over it. And now we're going to click and drag and combine these shapes here. And now let's do the same thing for the white stroke. So click and drag to combine these shapes, release the mouse and just double back over that. We're gonna jump over this one here and then click and drag to combine these and release. And then we need the shield to look like it's overlapping right here. So we need to combine this area and release and combine this area and release. We're gonna jump over this one and we're just going to combine this area here, release, combine this area here, release. So everything else we don't need, these fills we do not need, so we can shift click, and that's going to delete those areas. And this one, shift click. So now I'll hit the enter key, but what I'll do is click off of here, and I'm just gonna click on those little white strokes here, they're hard to see, and I'm gonna hit the backspace key to delete them. And sometimes you just gotta click on these little negative spaces and make sure there's no white stroke there still. So that will get rid of all the white strokes, one thing you'll notice, if I hold control and zoom in, there's a little bit of daylight right here. So definitely a little bit of gap that we can get rid of to make this look even better. So what I can do is click and drag my mouse over everything. Once again, hit the X key. And I'm just going to click and drag now and make everything connect to each other. And that way there's no daylight between those lines. And I'm also just gonna connect these shapes. So it's basically all just one shape. And then if you want, you can shift click on that inner shape since we're not gonna need it. Hit the S key to grab the selector tool. And there we have our final shape. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. Don't forget to check out my brand new Inkscape course. The link is in the description. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.